Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be creating a simple death system whereby the player when they run out of health they're going to drop down to the ground and it's going to look really cool. It's going to be complete with an animation and we're also going to be creating a function that we can call at any time you know just to kill off the player make them die and fall to the ground we're not going to be doing any much more than that but this system will set us up for creating all kinds of gameplay mechanics such as lava that's going to kill the player um crushing walls and so much more anyway guys let's go ahead and dive in and get started before we do go ahead and open up our project and start on the system we need to download the animation starter pack as this actually contains the death animation that we're going to use to tell the end uh, the end engine to drop the player down to the ground. So to get this animation starter pack go over to your marketplace and then if you're in the just normal screen just go ahead and type in animation starter pack at the top. Animation starter pack. Once we've done that just go ahead and get this. It's, it's owned by Epic Games and it is completely free for you guys to use in all of your projects. So just go ahead and click on it and download it. Check it out if you need to. Once you are in it, we need to go ahead and add this to our project so we can use all of the animations inside of there. Looking at this preview, you can see a couple of the animations. It's got animations for using rifles, pistols, crouching, all kinds of awesome stuff. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and add this to your project. For me, that is Sverta Side Scroller. We're gonna add it in. We're gonna let that run. Once that's been done, we're going to go to our library and we're just simply going to go ahead and open up the project. Now, I advise that you guys add it to the project when the when the project isn't actually open up on your screen. That way it can just load it all up in the content browser and it just gets rid of a whole bunch of issues. While this is loading up, I'm just going to quickly skip to the good bit. Cool, so we're inside of the engine now and let's go ahead and set things up. First things first, I want to go ahead and check my anim starter pack and I want to make sure that we have got all of the animations that we need including the death animations. So we go into our content browser, go to anim starter pack, you can see we've got death 1, 2 and 3 and these are pretty much all different kinds of animations for death. It's basically telling the player to fall down to the ground and there's different ways of doing it. Um, it's completely free and it works brilliantly and we're going to be using this for our system. So what we've got to do then is one thing before we can use it. We've got to go into the content and in starter pack mannequin and then go down to mesh. We pretty much need to delete this mannequin so that we can use it on our side scroller mannequin. We're going to be replacing some reference but let's go ahead and do it. So click this little mannequin here. Once again it's anim starter pack UE4 mannequin and then mesh. Go ahead and right click and delete it. And then before you do go ahead and press force delete, we need to replace and create a reference to that for the new one. Just drop it down and just create, just use the normal UE4 mannequin skeleton and then just hit replace references, press OK, save selected and that is all good. Once we've done that, we need to go ahead and create the function that's going to tell the player to die now inside of the blueprint. So go into side scroll of BP, blueprints and then go ahead and open up your side scroller character. Give that a couple of seconds to load up and once we've done that we've got to do a few things. So first things first we need to create a function that we can call from other blueprints at any time. This function will let us you know just tell the player to die and fall to the ground, disable the input and a couple of other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add new and then I'm going to go to function and this function can be used loads and loads of times. You just reference it just by casting to the character and it works really great. So I'm going to call this re uh, function something else. I'm just going to call it def for now. That way we know exactly what it is and it's really easy to reference to. So from the def little pointer here, we need to do a couple of things. First things first, we need to click and drag it up and we need to type in disable input. That way, once the player has died and they've fallen down to the ground, they're simply just going to stay there they won't be able to move and it's going to work exactly how we want it to. Once we've done this, we need to go ahead and drag this out and we need to tell it to play the animation for falling to the ground. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag it out and I'm going to type in play animation and then the one that we're after is play animation and then mesh inside of the brackets. Once we've done this, just check that the target is set to mesh and then under new anim to play, we need to go ahead and type in death. 
The one that we're going to use for now is simply going to be def1 and that is pretty much everything that we need to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly check that this is all working. So I'm going to, before I do that actually I'm going to hook up player controller and I'm going to get a reference to player controller as well just to finalize this and make sure that it works. I'm going to compile this and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reference that function from another blueprint so that we know it's all working. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to create another blueprint with a trigger volume inside of it and then I'm just going to tell it to cast to the side scroller character and then just fire off that function fire off the script and hopefully the player will die. So I'm going to right click in my content browser, I'm going to create a new blueprint class, just going to make it an actor for now and I'm just going to call this trigger test def. And then I'm going to open this up. Under add component I'm going to go ahead and add in a box collision, that way I can create a overlap event for this. Um, the overlap event will pretty much allow us to fire off a little bit of code once the player touches this object. So I'm going to scroll down in the details panel and I'm going to create the begin overlap event. And then for other actor, I am going to cast to side scroller character. And then from here, what I'm going to do as side scroller character, I'm simply going to drag this out and I'm just going to type in def and this will call the function. Once we call this function, hopefully the player should just drop down to the ground and it will disable the input exactly how we've told it to. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this and then I'm going to press play. There's no point in pressing play, I need to drag this into the scene somewhere. So I'm actually going to put this trigger def volume over here, press play, possess and I'm going to run up to this and as soon as I do fall on it, you can see that the player drops to the ground and it looks really, really awesome. Let's do that one more time. There you are, working all great. Now all we've got to do when we set up mechanics for lava or crushing walls or anything like that, all we've got to do is from the blueprint we've just got to call this function. So that's pretty much everything for the dev system. There is one more thing that I want to do in this video before I end it off and that is I want to go into the game mode and I want to set the default time back to something that's a bit longer than 5 seconds for testing. So I'm going to go into minutes and I'm just going to go ahead and change this to 2 minutes and seconds. I'm going to change the default value to 30 for now. If we press compile that should be all good. Press play, possess, jump in and you can see we've got our def animation working all good. So we still need to create a screen, a user interface screen telling the player they have died but that is going to be for another video. Anyway guys that is pretty much everything. Thanks for watching, stay awesome. Keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.